Water is a vital element that makes life possible on our planet. Earth has three quarters of its surface covered with water, but only 3% of it is fresh water and most of it is found in the form of ice at the poles and as clouds in the atmosphere. The rain that falls from the skies is our only source of fresh water. It nourishes the rivers, lakes, and groundwaters. It has always been thought that weather was uncontrollable and that we should accept it. But currently, the latest scientific advances have managed to positively influence atmospheric variables, and the most positive results have been found in precipitation. Yes, it's possible to increase rain or snowfall and thereby benefit the population and activities of a specific area. Let's see how this is possible to do it. For rain or snow to occur, three fundamental elements must be present. There must be humidity, meaning there must be clouds. There must be instability, which means that it must be an unstable cloud. There must be a large number of solid particles in the atmosphere. For the formation of each drop of rain or snowflake, there must be a solid nucleus in which water particles are grouped and can achieve a sufficient size to fall by gravity. The precipitation stimulation technique with silver iodide intervenes in the last two elements, which are instability and solid particles. In regards to humidity, even if there are clouds, it's still not possible to do anything. Let's see how it acts. In cloudiness, there are large volumes of water particles in a liquid state despite being at temperatures of minus 5 or even minus 10 degrees Celsius. This water is often known as super cooled water. When introducing silver iodide particles to the cloud, it acts as a freezing nucleus, since when it makes contact with the super cooled water particles, it adopts the state that corresponds to that temperature, in other words, ice. The passage of liquid state to ice releases latent heat, a heat that is transferred to the environment, the cloud, increasing the temperature and thereby increases cloud instability and increases its potential for precipitation, thus increasing it in important percentages. On the other hand, when sowing the cloudiness with silver iodide, large amounts of extra condensation nuclei are introduced. Each gram of silver iodide generates 10 elevated to 13 nuclei. Each contributed nuclei will be a possible drop or snowflake that will fall, also greatly increasing the amount of rainfall. In summary, the precipitation stimulation through cloud seeding with silver iodide acts on two of the three components of precipitation, increasing the degree of cloud instability and also increasing the amount of condensation nuclei present in the atmosphere thus increasing the precipitation in a percentage around 10 to 15% of what would fall naturally.